Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so it's time for another sports story. It's been a while. I want to go ahead and shout out Jessie Peach. She's one of my tea sippers. So she DM'd me this story concerning Tim Tebow, and she was like, sis, I think it's time for another sports story. I only listen when you break them down, okay? So shout out to you. Thank you. I get a lot of sports requests from guys, but it's always fun when I have females request sports stories. And that's one thing I love about my channel is that we can talk about everything here from, you know, celebrity news to political stuff when I'm in the damn mood, to sports stuff. I like that my channel is a bag of mixed nuts. You never know what you're going to get. You know, most females on YouTube, the only thing they can talk about is who's fucking and sucking who. Here, we can break down any damn story, okay? So if you guys do not know, we had a really good discussion over the weekend about the whole Tim Tebow situation. And Tim Tebow was a famous quarterback for the Florida Gators, okay? So if you guys do not know, T. Grow Damas has been talking about how I do not agree with the NCAA basically using these college athletes you know what I'm saying they're using their bodies their minds their lightness everything they're literally sucking these guys dry and then if they don't make it into the NFL the NBA they spit them out and that's it and they do it with the guys of oh well you got a free education even though it has been reported so many times about these paper classes so a lot of them are not getting a so-called free education they're just being pushed through so that way they can still play sports okay so I addressed this over a year ago when everything was going on with the JBA league when Adam Silver basically you know copied LeVar Ball's style and decided to make an alternative for kids coming out of high school who don't want to go through the NCAA to get into the NBA okay so I want you guys to go ahead and check out this flashback and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary You know, at the end of the day, is the JBA perfect? No, it's not. You know, there's been people saying that they want, you know, they're taking these kids' jersey sales and, you know, they have high percentages. But again, they have to start somewhere. And at the end of the day, I have to give LeVar Ball his props because he does not have a worker mentality. He has a boss mentality. And he's always trying to find different ways to eat and create some type of generational wealth for his family. And at the end of the day, he's a great businessman and he's a great marketer. Love him or hate him, but all the noise he created... All the shit that he started, you know what I'm saying? All the fanfare and, and, and all the branding that he did for Lonzo. At the end of the day, he got Lonzo playing for the LA Lakers. You know what I'm saying? So his mission was done. It was accomplished. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out. But, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad that the G League is doing this. I think it's cool that they're doing it. But I'm kind of disappointed that they're trying to act like this is their own idea. And now people are, you know, trying to act like LeVar Ball wasn't doing it first. But I'm always glad glad to see other ways for young men to get into the NBA and to make money off of their talents because at the end of the day this these young guys who are putting their bodies on the line you know their brains especially when you're talking about football and CTE which I've addressed in previous videos it's their bodies being put on the line so why shouldn't they be compensated for that why should the coaches who don't have to be out there taking the hits they don't have to be out there potentially breaking their ankles you know what I'm saying they're basically sitting you know on the hog they're comfortable they're not feeling no pressures no strains except to you know to win and these boys are the ones putting their bodies on the line they should very well be compensated I've always been you know for college athletes getting paid because they do the same thing they put their body through the same stress they go through the same you know everything as a lot of players in the NBA should they be getting you know LeBron James contracts no of course not but I don't care even if you pay them you know two three thousand dollars a month give them something there's no reason that these college athletes should be sitting here eating top ramen and then their coaches are eating filet mignon and you know lobster tails every night that's not cool there's no reason that young college athletes should be out here getting caught selling drugs because they have no money 
you know what I'm saying, or getting caught taking money under the table because of these bullshit ass rules. And everybody knows that these rules are so unfair. But again, it's about the top making the money and then leaving these young black kids who are from the hood to just be appreciative that they're on a college campus. Well, by that logic, should these coaches not just be appreciative to be coaching these people? No, you can't eat appreciation. You know what I mean? You got bills to pay, family members to take care of and everything else. So they shouldn't just be appreciative of getting a so-called free education there should be some perks with that because they're putting in the work it's no different than you know people getting a band scholarship or a dance scholarship to college they're still allowed to work they're still allowed to you know create their own brand and, and use their likeness in any way that they want to but when it comes to the student athletes when you tell them they can't do the same thing that anybody else who's down a scholarship can do in any other program I see a double standard it's about money at the end of the day so you know kudos to LeVar Ball for thanking outside the box for trying to make a, a different way all right so you guys just watched that flashback so a lot of the points i was making in that video it's funny how now in california they're trying to pass a new law where they will pay college athletes okay the new law is called the fair pay to play act and where they're saying that okay if they're using these kids as lightness if they're selling jerseys if they're selling merchandise shoes and things like that under these college athletes names they should be compensated like anybody else so tim tebow has a strong stance against that he feels like if they do that it's going to corrupt college football it's going to corrupt college sports and he does not want that to be passed so i want you guys to go ahead and watch this interview with tim tebow on first take check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary you, you know i i i feel like I, I have a little credibility and knowledge about this because when i was at the when i was at the university of florida i think my jersey was one of the top selling jerseys around the world uh it was like kobe lebron and then i was right behind them and i didn't make a dollar from it but nor did i want to because i knew going into college what what, what it um what it was all about i knew going to florida my dream school where i wanted to go the passion for it and if i could support my team support my college support my university that's what it's all about but now we're changing it from us from we from my university from being an alumni where I care which makes college football and college sports special to then okay it's not about us it's not about we it's just about me and yes I know we live in a selfish culture where it's all about us but we're just adding and piling it onto that mm. where it changes what's special about college football Tim. we turn it into the NFL where who has the most money that's where you go that's why people are more passionate about college sports than they are about NFL. That's why the, 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 um, the stadiums are bigger in college than they are in the NFL because it's about your team. It's about your university. It's about where my family wanted to go. It's about where my grandfather had a dream of seeing Florida win an SEC championship. And you're taking that away so that young kids can earn a dollar. And that's just not where I feel like college football needs to go. That's Honey. All right, so you guys just saw what Tim Tebow had to say. So this is my personal opinion. I see people putting a lot of information out there and saying that Tim Tebow is just a spoiled brat. He comes from a rich white family, and that's not true. Let's not just pull shit out the air to try and, you know, validate our own points, okay? That's not the case with Tim Tebow. His family wasn't, you know, well-to-do where they just paid for whatever he wanted. He also had to struggle. But my thing is most of these guys who are going to, you know, college to play for the NCAA, they're not coming from rich families. A lot of them are struggling. Like I said in my previous video, you know, you had these guys eating top ramen. Some guys have been expelled for selling drugs and everything else. Meanwhile, these coaches of these colleges are making millions of a year okay a lot of these college coaches make more than NBA coaches I wanted these same college coaches that may be against this would be willing to give up their salaries it's funny how everybody wants these kids to do everything for the love of the game meanwhile you got college coaches riding around in hundred thousand dollar Range Rovers you know what I'm saying making money off of shoe deals based off of these kids on their team I wanted these college coaches would do the same thing for just free room and board and a meal 
You know, these college coaches would not accept that. So why do we expect college students who are technically becoming adults to accept the same thing? Nobody wants to work for free. And the thing that's not fair is that other um, student athletes can have jobs, they can write books, they can make money off of their work, but it's the sports athletes, it's the basketball players, it's the football players that are not allowed to do the same thing. But other people who are on scholarships, they're allowed to make money off of themselves, off of their likeness which is totally unfair. But again, they're doing that because they know that these college athletes bring so much money to these colleges. They put the butts in the stadiums and everything else. The reason why these stadiums are so huge, Tim Tebow, is because of the money generated because they're not paying any of the damn college athletes. So of course they can have huge stadiums unlike the NFL because in the NFL they have to pay those players big time money. So, you know, the whole situation is a very, very interesting debate, but you guys know how I feel about this. I believe that student athletes should be paid point blank period, especially being that a majority of them will never make it into the NBA or the NFL. And so even though they're getting this so-called free education or a lot of those people even working in that field that they went to school for, the answer nine times out of 10 is no, okay? So I think they should be able to make their money while they're in college, off of their likeness and everything else. And if they make it into, you know, the professional sports league, then great. And if they don't, they still have that cushion. They still have that money to fall back on. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Tim Tebow, basically being against the Fair Pay to Play Act that's going to be passed in Cali. They're saying that once it's passed, it won't be until 2023. Do you guys agree with me that college athletes should be paid or do you feel like it's going to ruin the game? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs>